Hey everyone, if you've got multiple monitors and you want to make use of them in Premiere Pro, there's two different ways you can go about this. Just bring you a little bit closer so you can see. So I've got two monitors on my system here. This is the main monitor with the timeline and this is the second monitor up here. So the first way is to actually use the second monitor to hold some of these panels or some of this information to free up more space on your main monitor. So for example, if we come over to the effect controls here and all we need to do is drag this effect controls item drag it all the way over until it appears on the second monitor and then just let go. We can organize this on the second monitor and maybe come back to the primary monitor here and maybe, for example, we might want the audio track mixer on the second monitor. Just a little gotcha, if you want to put these back, if you actually drag on the main window here, so the main window handle, and try and drag that back into Premiere Pro, notice that Premiere Pro is not letting us drop that onto the main window. Instead, what you want to make sure you do is actually drag the tab here and then drag that over and back to Premiere Pro. And you can see now we can drop it back into Premiere Pro. And we can do the same thing with this. Once again, don't drag the top bar, drag the actual item and drop it back into Premiere Pro. You can also grab the entire set of items here. So rather than dragging on an individual item like effect controls, if you drag on the entire panel, so notice this blue border here, come over to some empty space within this entire group, such as this, and then drag the entire group and as you can see, we've now got the project effects, audio track mixer and effect controls all on the same screen. And once again, to drag it back, if you try and drag it back from this top bar, it's not going to work. Make sure you drag it from an empty area here and then drop that back into Premiere Pro. So once you've got a layout that you're happy with on your second monitor, what you can do is come over to the main Premiere Pro window, come up to the window menu into the workspaces sub menu and come down and choose save as new workspace give the new workspace a name, I'm just gonna call this multi and click OK. And now what you can do is switch between these different workspaces. And if we click back on the multi workspace I just created, notice how it brings back the multi monitor setup. The second way you can use multiple monitors in Premiere Pro is to actually use the second monitor as a full screen monitor, which is going to mirror whatever's in the program monitor there. To do that, what you need to do is come into the Premiere Pro settings. So I'm just going to come down to edit menu preferences. This is on Windows. And then you want to find the playback preferences. Notice you've got these monitors here. So this one at the bottom is a 4K monitor, 38 40 by 2160. So this is this big monitor up here and Adobe Monitor 1 is the main screen on this system, this widescreen display. So if I want to use this second display as a full screen display to show me whatever's in the program monitor here, I'm going to make sure I choose the right monitor. So this is Adobe Monitor 2 and click OK. And now you can see, if I just play back this, you can see that whatever's playing in the program monitor here is actually playing full screen on that 4K monitor. So the advantage of using a second monitor full screen like this is that you can see a lot more of what's going on. You don't have to keep switching your main monitor here to full screen. You've always got this full screen version up here. So for example, this can help you double check focus or it can help you see finer details or even get an idea of what the overall cinematic feel of the video would look like on a bigger screen. And you can also use it if you're doing color grading as long as the second monitor is color accurate and color calibrated. By the way, I'll put affiliate links to both of these monitors I'm using here down in the description. There's a couple of extra options you want to be aware of if you're using this kind of setup. Just going to come back into the preferences and down to playback preferences. Notice you've got this tick box down here which will allow you to disable the video output when Premiere Pro is in the background. So basically if you minimize Premiere Pro this second screen will return back to normal and won't display anything from Premiere Pro. And if you do find that your second full screen monitor is a little bit out of sync so the sound and the video is out of sync like lip sync you can actually modify this offset here to try and correct any synchronization issues. Also make sure you check out my filmmaking book, the link's down in the description and I'll see you in the next one.